Okay, so the next thing that I'd like to show you that I do to biohack my health and optimize my health span is cold thermogenesis. Now you can do cold showers, I do cold showers. Uh, you can do cryotherapy, I do cryotherapy on occasion. Uh, I'll be doing that when I travel, I'll be flying and I'll go straight into a cryotherapy unit. Um, or the majority of time, yeah, 99% of the time I do ice baths. It's harder, it's definitely harder. So I always like to do things that I think will be hard because there's gonna be a time in our life where we're gonna be fragile and we're not gonna be able to do the hard things. So while I can, I always like to go towards hard things. That's why I like to do Ironman triathlon, I like to do um, ultra marathon. If I think I'll suck at it, sign me up, let me go, because that'll have a transcendence effect onto other areas of my life. Now, the reason why I wanted to hold this camera and show you, this is what's called a Morozco Forge. It's a little bit dirty, I'm afraid. Um, I have just cleaned it in here. This, uh, this does have a filter and an ozone filter, so I never have to put disinfectants. But I don't know if you can see, there's probably about six inches of ice at the bottom. So sometimes, when I get in the ice bath, people go, oh, you know what? There's no ice in there. Believe me, it is exceptionally cold <laughs> because there's a lot of ice at the bottom. Sometimes I'll switch the machine off and I'll just let the ice come to the top and I'll smash it just, it looks a little bit better for the gram. Uh, but 99% of the time when I get in here, all the ice is at the bottom. Now there is a heat pad there you can see where my but could be, but I usually like to lie down. The reason being is that I want to cover my thyroid. So this really helps tone your vagal nerve, which puts you into that rest or digest or that parasympathetic state to sympathetic state. It helps merge and stimulate or stabilize that gap, I should say. So the main reason I love doing ice baths is because it helps with my mental stability. So. Let's just jump in. There's a lot of benefits. It can really help with blood flow. It can help with blood sugar stabilization. So I notice if I wear a 24 hour blood glucose monitor and then look at my blood sugars throughout the rest of the day, they are much more stable. And it can help mobilize fatty acids. But the main reason, like I said, I do it is for emotional stability. I like to usually jump in here for about two to three minutes in the morning and I do about a minute in the evening. Uh, it's convenient for me because it is cold all the time. Whereas in like a trough, like um, like a cattle trough or something like that, you have to put ice in there. So that can be a pain in the ass, it can be inconvenient. So I would usually do that like three times a week, but because this is cold all the time, then I'm able to do this like daily. It's much more convenient. Now, I'm using my hand for expression here. It is a lot ha uh, harder to put your hands in and then go up to your neck. So you can start like there and then slowly work your way down. And I would suggest that you start off with like 30 seconds and then increase the next time to like 40 seconds. And then maybe 50. Do a little breath work beforehand. Maybe look into Wim Hof, he's known as the Iceman. You can see the type of breath work that he suggests before you jump in here. But start off slow, increase, and I'd usually max it out at about three minutes and I'm pretty good there. Same in the shower, do the same with the shower. Make sure that you get your, um, your nodes. So like your inguinal nodes, your occipital nodes, make sure that you get the back of your neck, top of your head, front of your neck, underneath your armpits, etc. okay? Remember, this will help you be harder to kill and it'll have a transcendence effect into other areas of your life. You'll become more resilient, relentless, and more conditioned.